Right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a cutscene in Roblox Studio. So, your camera will go between different parts, and you can just have it as many parts as you like, and you can have a nice cutscene. So, the first thing we want to do is install GUI, just make it screen GUI, call it cutscene, and then turn off reset on spawn. And then in here, you can just make a local script and call it cutscene script. And now in, in our game, in workspace, just create a folder and call it camera parts. And then in camera parts, you just want to add a part. And then you want to call it part one. And then make it anchored and make it transparent. And then you can press F to go to the part. Size it however you like, it doesn't matter. And then you just want to face it in whatever direction you want the camera to be. And wherever you want the camera to be. So say I want my first camera to be pointing down here. And then again, I'm just going to move it. So I'm going to duplicate the parts. And let's say I want to move it over here. Facing directly downwards. And then I'm just going to change the name of that part to part 2. And then duplicate it again and move it over here. You can put these parts wherever you need them. But for me, I'm just putting them in random places because I don't actually have anything in my game. So, angle this one like that. And then I'm going to call this one part three. So you can have as many parts as you like, it doesn't matter. But I'm just going to leave it as three for this. So, now you can go back into your cutscene script. And we first of all want to reference the camera. So we're just going to say local camera equals game.workspace.currentCamera. And I'm going to say camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable make sure we can script the camera change its position change its c-frame even and then i'm just gonna make variables for each of the parts so i'm gonna say local parts folder first game dot workspace dot camera parts and then i can make a variable for each of the parts so i'm gonna say local part one equals parts folder dot part one and then local part two equals parts folder dot part two and then look part three equals parts folder dot part three again just make as many variables as you need for as many parts as you have right so now what we're going to do is first of all we're just going to change the position of the camera to the position of the first part so how you can do that is just say camera dot c frame equals part one dot c frame and now we're just going to wait until the game is loaded so just say repeat wait and the pair of brackets until game colon is loaded and then a pair of brackets so this will just keep waiting until the game's fully loaded and now we want to wait however long we want to wait between going to part two so just say wait for example three seconds before going to part two and then we can set the camera c frame again so camera dot c frame equals part two dot c frame and then wait however long you want to again so let's say wait four seconds this time and then we're going to say camera dot c frame equals part three dot c frame and then we can wait another three seconds obviously do this as many times as you have parts so for example if i had four parts i'll duplicate this again and just change it to part four but because i've only got three i'm gonna leave it at that and then once this is all done once you've gone through all your parts what you're going to do is change the camera back to going around the player so how you can do that is just say camera camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom so that's just the default one that Roblox usually uses and now we've done that we're just going to add some extra things you don't have to add this to your script but it makes your life a lot easier so before you do any of this just somewhere above this repeat weight what we're going to do is we're going to make first of all a table so I'm saying local disabled GUIs equals and then add a table and now we're going to loop through all the other GUIs other than this cutscene GUI and disable them. So there's nothing on your screen during the cutscene. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say for underscore comma GUI in pairs script dot parent dot parent colon get children do. So this is going to loop through start a GUI. And then we're going to say if GUI colon is a green GUI then. So this is just making sure that whatever we're looping through is a GUI, so it's not something else. And then we're also going to add to this line and not GUI equals equals script.parent.parent. .parent. Then 
So it's just saying if it is a screen GUI and it's not the cutscene GUI, then so now we're just going to add this GUI to the disabled GUIs table and we're going to disable it. So just do table.insert and then disable GUIs and then comma and then the GUI. And then we're just going to say GUI.enabled equals false. Right. Now we can go again back to the end and we're just going to say for underscore comma disabled GUI in pairs disabled GUIs do disabled GUI dot enabled equals true right so now we can just play our game right as you can see we're getting loads of errors so what we're going to do is we're going to move this repeat weight so I'm just going to repeat or move that so control x to cut it and then we're just going to put it at the top of the script so just paste it there so now when we run our game you can see that our part is in its first position then it moves to the second position and then it moves to the third position and then once that's done it's just put it back on our player so there you go that was how you can make a cutscene in robot studio if you found this helpful then please subscribe anyways i'll see you next time goodbye